Hey guys, ShaveBear1000 here. Today we're going to be doing a review on this thermometer fork. Stay tuned, let's check it out together. Okay guys, we got here this uh, Farber wear. You see that? It is a digital thermometer fork. Okay. What it's supposed to do is it's supposed to tell you, like whatever you're cooking, what the uh, temperatures are. If it's sorry, if it's uh, rare, medium rare, medium or well done, and it's supposed to give you the uh, temperature on it. So. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick. I have um, I have a way to test this. Um, it's not science. We're not getting you know we're not going to split hairs over three or four degrees. I'm not a chef. Um, you know, my life revolves around uh, <coughs> turning wrenches pretty much and. You know, making monkey happy. But anyway, let's get this open. Maybe. Tune in tomorrow when you'll see Shea Bear opening a fork. Okay, so. Now it does take, and I think I just cut the instructions off. Well, <laughs> I want to tell you on the back, it will tell you, well, that was stupid, but it will tell you <laughs> on here, monkey's in the bedroom, she must be listening, um, like preset temperature alerts, you can set preset it to whatever temperature you want and all that, and down here, it does give you the temperatures, or, you know, recommended, it says, Minimum internal cooking temperatures as recommended by USDA. So, like, it'll give you the, the beef, the veal, all that stuff, which I just cut in half, but I pretty much know that. But if you don't, don't rip it in half. So, all right, here we go. All right, we got this. Okay, like I said, it does take two uh, AAA batteries, which I have right here. Not included. Got a little hanging thing on it there, a little a little hook to, to hang it somewhere. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh, and it's got, okay, the other one's in here. And it does, of course, which is kind of cool. You know, most of these things have these little plastic protectors, which, which is fine. They always get lost, I know, but at least, you know, they've got them. Okay, so let's put these in here. I'm not getting real technical on how to put these in because it's not a video on how to install batteries and so on. Okay. There's um and right in here, I don't know if you can see it. Right there, that switch. There's a Celsius and Fahrenheit. So that's pretty cool. So let's make sure I got on Fahrenheit. Well, it doesn't really matter because we're just doing to see how close we are. Because what I have here is one of these. Now, now this is not, you know, an expensive one. It's just a cheap one we bought at the store for like eight or ten bucks. And I use it a lot because it's hard to tell temperature. I mean, uh, a lot of real good chefs. I know there's guys out there going <laughs> laughing, going, "It's easy," uh, but I, I still use this like on on turkeys and stuff, you know, down by the bone because I want to make sure it's 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 done all the way through. Um, so what I've got going on here behind us, you can't see, but I have, uh, I, I don't have food because there's so many variables. Like if I get this closer to the bone than this is, this is going to read different. So I'm just boiling some water and we're going to see if they're fairly close to each other. Okay. So let's go ahead and, um, peel this off. I usually keep these things on, but you know, you can't because it's got this thing on it. So right now it's reading beef. Well, just kind of like what it does on here. Right now it's reading 
<coughs> 78 degrees and you got uh, you got a meat where it says meat and taste um, so all right, let's get this off these uh, prongs off of here and I'll be back with you and what we're going to do is we are going to take this over to the stove and we're going to see if these two are pretty compatible uh, like I said um, it, it's not rocket science you don't have to real, really like worry about it too much if you're in a few degrees uh, like I said uh, professional chefs out there <laughs> bless your heart uh, because you know cooking can be easy but then again if you're really wanting something to really be good and the way you want it they, they can tell without cutting into it they can just tell by the looks of it so hats off to you guys uh, but I can't <laughs> I'm not that good but okay we're gonna see what what uh, what we got going on with this and I'll be right back with you in just a second okay guys we're back now what I've done here is I have shut the water off because water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit and this does not go that high it goes to 190 degrees so I let it cool down for a bit now what I'm going to do is I have this can you see that let me let me get a light on here for you I have this set on turkey okay see that it's on turkey and what we're going to do is this is one of the highest readings which is turkey fresh should be around 180 degrees so we're going to um, kind of gauge it from these from this and this because that's like as high as you know what I'm saying like I said this is not you know we're not in a lab and I'm not going to let them touch the bottom of the pan because that's going to be the hottest so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this these in here about approximately the same you know depth okay and I'm going to hold it in here for about 10 seconds and then we're going to go until they stop reading okay alright here we go guys there's 10 seconds and this has beeped this one is reading 197 degrees okay right about there it's, it's beeping at 197 so that's where it peaked this one peaked at as you can see it, it already cooled down so I'm gonna have to put this in here again and we'll just go until it stops See? See that? So it's uh it's reading like uh 160 160 is what it's reading. And this one was beeping at 197, okay? And which if you hit the button it's got LED lights which was reading um well done so let's put this in here for a few more seconds like I said this is not control I understand all that guys so let's just not get into that you can see the water is cooling down significantly but this is still rising the temperature is still rising I'm reading 199 Fahrenheit 201 of course the longer you leave it in there uh, the more it's going to read. Let's leave it in until it beeps. Okay. But it did have a little arrow on it to tell me that uh, what it was, and I, I I didn't catch it. You guys might have. Let's uh, try to reset this. 
Okay. Turkey at 197 is going to be well done. Which, according to the face of the... Can you hear it beeping? Which, yes, of course it's going to be... And it gives you the, the temperature on, on the box that I messed up, but you can still read it. Like I said, turkey fresh is 180. So, but if you guys notice, this thing only took a second then jump back down so it's not very accurate I, I i would think this would be more accurate but it's telling me my turkey was well done which according to this which i think the dial 180 which would be about right on a turkey uh i like to keep mine around 175 but you know that's the taste that's and it's by the bone so you have to be careful but um, so we're we're talking turkey fresh is about 180 degrees and this jumped up higher than that so it, it did say well done of course you know this doesn't say turkey well done it says beef well you know um, pork fresh turkey roll blah 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 so you really do, don't get your but this you can you know you can check it by just hitting that taste button right there there's a taste and there's a meat so, um, you know, for, um, let me see what we gave for this. We gave, um, we gave 15 bucks for it. It was, um, $14.99. So we gave 15 bucks for it. Uh, so right now from this test that, I, you know, I don't have my, uh, thermometer I was going to borrow one from a buddy of mine but I don't have the one that you can like just you know shoot at it and and, and get a good idea but I, right now I would say I'm going to go with this one because I like digital and um, this thing this thing is nice and also when you're flipping your meat over like say on a grill or even in a skillet you can flip your meat and it'll kind of give you an idea so you know nothing's perfect guys but um, I think you guys seen this thing hop around way too much uh, let's put this in here for another second and bring it up here but uh, you know digital sometimes is better I don't you know like I said I haven't used this in a real environment yet but so far I'm liking the the digital you know on it because I hope this ain't reading backwards, but because uh, you really can't go wrong. This needle right here, you know, like right now, uh, you got to look at the tip. A lot of people just look here, but you got to look at the very tip, the very tip of it. Yeah. And I can feel it clicking and look how fast, see how it just dropped down like that. So, which these are fine. And, but these you can leave in your bird or in your roast or whatever while it's cooking, which I don't recommend, but, you know, a lot of famous chefs say you can do that. But this one being, you know, like a $10 item or whatever, this one here, uh, I, I wouldn't trust it. And this one, of course, you, you could never do that too. But... You know, as far as accuracy, I, I'm going to guess it would be this one. So, you know, I mean, just from what, what we're doing here to, today, um, I've got uh, I've got to say, I think that I, I would go with that digital one. Um, I've got to, hang on a second here, guys. i got to check something real quick. Okay. I'm curing a, uh, I'm doing, I'm seasoning a, uh, a skillet, a cast iron skillet. I like to do it every so often because somebody likes to wash it with soap and water when they ain't supposed to. Hmm. Nothing. Love you. <laughs> anyway, so I got to do a lot more than uh, a lot of guys do. But what I do is I, 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 um, uh, it's not a video on that. I understand that, but real quick. 
uh, I take my cast iron, I oil it down with just vegetable oil. You can use uh, coconut oil, anything like that, any brand, it doesn't matter. Don't use motor oil. You can, but I don't know about the taste because I've never done it. But wipe it down and with the oil, put it in the oven at 350 degrees until you see a little bit of smoke take it out wipe it down again you do that and that's that's how you get that that black coloring and the good flavor but when you start washing them with soap and water they start rusting then you got to do it all again and it's kind of like a long process uh, next time I do this I will show you how I do mine a lot of guys do them differently but they're all pretty much the same basis like some guys don't use um, don't use uh, these the um, what do you call them? Not napkins, but paper towels. Because, like, it may leave little things in it. A lot of guys like to use rags. They like to use certain things. But it's the same basis on anything like that. Ooh, I'm sweating. So, anyway, guys, there's uh, so far my take on it. I've used this, you know, a hundred times. Maybe it's getting worn out. But I remember the first time that I used this one. It did pop as soon as I, I pulled it out of a roast. It did pop back, and I'm like, I didn't get a chance to see what it said. So, so far, I like this one better. But um, we'll, we'll just have to see. And like I said, what I like about it is in the back there, it has a Celsius and Fahrenheit switch. So, that's pretty cool. <coughs> now, I don't see an on and off switch, and it's still on. So, maybe it shuts off. I hope so. If not, I just wasted two batteries that probably cost me 20 cents to make this video. So anyway, guys, um, there's a quick one for you. A little. Uh... Oh, by the way, this this is an as seen on TV. It doesn't say it on it anywhere, but we bought this at the as seen on TV store for 14.99. So, but I know it doesn't say it on it, but that's where we got it at. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Check out Monkey 1000 and uh, check out Nancy Jones. She's doing a lot of work on her trains as well. Uh, Tammy's Adventures, shout out to you. All right, guys, I got to get ready to go. I got to get this uh, edited and uploaded for y'all. And so you'll get it tomorrow or tonight if you stay up late enough. And um, we are going to do some Thanksgiving stuff, some live feed on Thanksgiving and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Thanks again, guys. And Shea Bear 1000, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.